Charles Verdi's author Gianna Culbertson is making her mark in the literary world. You might say she's even living a fairy tale as Cinderella's daughter. Here is more on the story. I've always been a bit of a writer. When I was little, I wrote lots of stories and I did the illustrations and that was my thing. You know, some kids discover they love animals and some kids, you know, they can't get a bunch of Legos. Maybe they'll grow up to be an architect. I always wrote when I was little. Uh, I wrote my first story when I was in the first grade uh, in Mayor Catalina at Miss Mooney's elementary, Miss Mooney's uh, first grade class and since then I didn't stop but then you know you grow and you that's replaced with book reports and essays and your writing takes a turn but then when I was in college I um, you know got back into it and one day I just had this idea and people always ask me where the inspiration for the story came from and I really do wish I had something more concrete than pure you know the lightning strikes the brain luck but I really was just sitting in class one day when the name of the school in my book which is Lady Agnew's School for Princesses and Other Female Protagonists came into my head and I was like that's that's interesting Maybe I can build on that. And before I knew it, I had the prologue to the first book. And then around that time, I also, um, in school, took this great fairy tales class. I went to USC. And so that just, we dove into all this research from fairy tales past and the idea for the series started to grow. And I realized I hadn't written for myself in a very long time. And even if I had, you know, homework and, you know, classes and clubs and everything like that, I set myself out to continue this project. And my roommate probably thought I was nuts because I was probably the only college kid that personally purposefully got up at like 4 a.m. every Friday to write before classes start, but it was my promise to myself to do it every week without stop, and little by little, planes, trains, and automobiles, classrooms, patios, etc., I got the books done. And so uh, when I graduated a few months after, I had finally finished uh, the first three books, and that's when I set off to look for publishers. So the main concept behind the book series is about the children and younger siblings of former fairy tale characters, and they live in a world actually called Book, where they train to be the next generation of main characters in stories. Um, Chrysanthemum Knight, or Chrissa, as she goes by, um, you know, she's born into this world where, like all of us, you know, we have expectations from our parents and those people that came before us. She is the daughter of one of the most famous princesses of all time and people expect her to grow up and fill an archetype, a role. And so she knows her whole life that there's this fate expected for her that the author is actually going to write. And she doesn't believe in that. She wants to set her own path um, because she knows that Although, you know, the past is important and we, are, we should take lessons from where we came from, she shouldn't just be limited by what came before her. She's something new. Uh, but I just, I wanted a, a girl character that I could look up to. And, you know, growing up, you are encouraged uh, if you're a girl to like love the Disney princesses, like that's your jam, the Disney princesses. Um, love them, they're awesome, but they're, I started to love more, um, I wanna say superhero comic books and characters like that as I grew, but they didn't merge enough and I wanted something to combine both worlds, the hero and the princess into something that I could not only relate to in terms of, I can see myself pieces of that in that character, but something I could look up to also. Um, as a, you know, a young girl, you know, you should, it's great to look up to Iron Man and Percy Jackson and Spider-Man, but where are my ladies at? Where are the, where are the girls I, that, kick butt and it's getting better I feel like um, every year more you know more women and girls are portrayed stronger and more powerful um, but so that is another core reason why I'm very passionate about my characters and the series development because creating that relatable girl who you know starts out like normal has her doubts or insecurities like all of us but then over the course of time would grow into something admirable and powerful I like to say something that's both valiant and vulnerable